video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here in a bit of a wild and windy Blackpool. Can you see the moon behind us? See that, just above that street right there, that's a moon. It's, a, it's not a full moon, but it's, it's looking pretty big there. I'll tell you what, it's proper wild in Blackpool today. We've got gusts up to about 55 miles an hour. It is crazy today. It's not great weather to be out. I'm just by, well, I'm just behind the council offices here. Look, the new council offices here. I can hear sirens. Is it kicking off in Blackpool already? I've only just started. I'm going to have to keep this fairly brief as well because I've still got, uh, still got a bit of a problem with my foot. So I've got that old plantar fasciitis that's... Uh, playing up a little bit so we'll have a little walk around town on a Saturday night it's not a very good night not a very nice night at all so I'll just give you a little look around here before we before we head off <laughs> trying to see if I can find you some trees blowing in the wind but I found this uh, this little grass plant here it doesn't look too bad around here we're a little bit sheltered i'm just by this sainsbury's that's a holiday inn down there the bright lights of the holiday inn check out my video where i stayed there so this these are the new council offices if you'd have come here about 10 years ago this would have been a building site when they were building all this yeah it was pretty much just ramshackle shops and car dealer and I think there's a car park. There was a bowling. There was an indoor bowling alley. Oh, where the Sainsbury's is, who remembers the indoor bowls and a massive big car park behind it on the other side of that, yeah. It was just wasteland for, for ages. But that indoor bowls wasn't wasn't old either. It didn't didn't uh, last long after they built it, yeah. So they, they, uh, they soon got rid of that. I'm just headed down this way to George Street. I just want to show you this row of houses over here. Ah, you can see the moon now. Look, can you see? Just above that uh, row of houses there. It's a waxing gibbous moon, by the way, to be exact. Now, this row of houses over here, they're condemned. The council are buying, they're buying them up. You can see the ones they've bought up because they're the ones that are boarded up. In fact, there's quite a few there just in front now that are all boarded up. So the council will have bought all this lot here. And the idea is they're going to build a university in there, along there, and a couple of blocks back. So, what do you think? Does Blackpool need a university? Well, Blackpool Council seem to think so, so uh, that's what they're going to do. I've spoke to, it, spoke to other people about it and they said, ah, you don't want a university. That's not going to do you any good. Let's have a look this way. The council offices are all in darkness. Look at that. Hey, I'll tell you something else. They keep the lawn quite nice down here as well. Uh, mind you, some of the other lawns in town get a little bit overlooked. But this one is actually quite smart. Bit of grass in Blackpool Town Centre. Right, so... Yeah, a bit of a green space in Blackpool Town Centre. Surprised I didn't think of something to build on there, instead of having it as a lawn. But anyway, we're just coming down here to... Yeah. hell? Maybe just giving it some pedal. This is Cookson Street. And straight in front of us is the new DWP offices. It says there, making Blackpool better. And if you look at the artist impression, there's some, well, I don't see any beer monsters on there anyway. <laughs> so I'm not too sure how accurate the artist impressions are. Let's have a look down Cookson Street. I think we all know about Cookson Street, don't we? That building over there is a dental surgeon. It used to be the hot pub. That's what it was last. They kept the frontage when they knocked down a lot of the buildings and a lot of the buildings around here to build this used to be when St John's Market, who remembers St John's Market? It was right here in the space where this massive big monstrosity is right now. St John's Market, I'm going back a long way there. 
Blackpool, we used to have St John's, we used to have Abingdon Street, the original Abingdon Street, we used to have Bonnie Street Market, and now, well, we've got that, and uh, not a lot else really, when it comes to markets. Mr Baz rides over there, who remembers when the buses used to go flying in there to the bus station, the old bus station. It's looking pretty full in Mr Baz rides as well, they're doing well tonight. They fixed all the windows. Yeah, they had all the windows put through, didn't they? But they're all fixed now, so that's good. Let me know what you think about the market situation in Blackpool, because I do remember St John's Market. I used to go in there quite a lot. And I'm not really the sort of person that goes to markets as well. So uh, let me know what you think. Do you really miss the markets? I know a lot of people missing Bonnie Street Market, but to be quite honest, Tell you what, I'm getting buffeted here by this wind. Bonnie Street Market was a bit of a ramshackle, really, wasn't it? But but St John's Market over here was decent. I think it was pretty good. Yeah, it was undercover, and they had some good uh, good vendors in there, good stalls. But anyway, that was then, and this is now. So I'll just make my way up here. Who remembers uh, the Tash nightclub and Barney Rubbles? Because that was right here where this new building is here. The Tash nightclub. It's a bit rough. It's a little bit rough. Just on the corner here, they sell any unit. Well, there's a new unit opening, and it's going. It's going to be a. Is it going to be a micro pub? It's going to be the rail side brew house. Look at that there. Check it out. They've even got some like a little outdoor area here. This is going to be a new trendy pub. And it looks like just out here, we've got like a seating area. They'll probably put bushes and stuff around the side. Uh, probably put like plastic uh, hedge around the side. What do you think? Uh, What's this down here? Is that an old sign for the coffee? It used to be a coffee house. And that's how much the coffees were. So around about the same price as the uh, cost of coffee, aren't they? Cost a lot, if you ask me. <laughs> but anyway, here's a little look. There's still work in progress, so he bits of wood around. Um, we can have a little look inside. It looks like they've got uh, the bar set up there. So there you go, that's a little look. Uh, so I'm just coming out now onto Bickerstaff Square. It does look quite cool around here now with all the lights. When the bus station, originally the bus station, it was, well, it's a bit ugly really, but they, they did, they did modernise it quite well by putting all that glass on there, on the car park, uh, and making it kind of, Cool looking. Let's have a look at the Holiday Inn, shall we? I'll tell you what, it's pretty busy. It is not a nice night to be out in Blackpool, but there are quite a few people out. We'll, we'll have a little look around the town centre. Can't believe how busy it is here. I can't even get across the road. All right, I am now. There you go, the Holiday Inn, check it out. That roundabout there is absolutely uh, crazy at times. I'm surprised. There have been a few like little bumps in that there. I'm surprised there's not a lot more. Look at these barriers they've had to put in here. Wow. Bloody hell. Because it's so close to the door, isn't it? Look, there's Marco's. And yet, look how close you are to the road with this mad roundabout here. They come flying around this roundabout. <sighs> wow. Crazy, isn't it? Here's a little look back. Bickerstaff Square. So named after Sir John Bickerstaff, an ex council leader, an ex mayor, should I say, of Blackpool instrumental in building Blackpool Tower. Uh, now we're looking down here. 
bet there's no trams here because it's after seven o'clock. I'm filming this at about, I don't even know what time it is, half past eight. I think it's half past eight. It's getting towards nine o'clock. So there's not going to be anybody. Well, there are, there are some people down here. Maybe they don't realise that there's no trams. Oh, that wind is just... Honestly, the wind is... It's shocking. Oh, we get to see the tower now, look. There you go, Blackpool Tower. Let's go down here, shall we? There's not going to be a tram, is there? We've got the eliminations traffic. It's a Saturday night, of course, so... It would be chaos, I think. I think that's part of the reason why they stopped bringing the trams up so late, because... It was just playing havoc. You know, with the traffic lights, they have to change the traffic lights and everything to let the trams come up here from the promenade. And it was probably causing more problems than it was worth. So I'm now making my way along the tram tracks, which uh, I can do because there's no tram. But there might be a training tram, you never know. But I doubt there will be one tonight on the Saturday night. We're looking into, well, bit of a building site really what are they going to do with this I don't know but it's unfinished unfinished how's Mark Kelly's looking oh, I'll tell you what it is pretty busy in Blackpool Ooh. now then and then use it from Mark Kelly's. Oh, quite a few people milling around here. We've got the usual beer monsters down here. Beer monsters. Still on the trip over then. A lot of litter blowing around. Now I'm making my way down. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be on the streets tonight. With this weather, it is a bit cold. Cozy Clip Barbers. Is that new? Is that a new, uh, a new Turkish Barbers? Or has that been there already? I don't know. I think it's new. We've got another Turkish barbers. And just over the road we've got Istanbul. I'll tell you what. We're not short on the uh, takeaways, are we? Here in Blackpool. And as I come down here now, it's looking pretty busy. As I get down towards Talbot Square, that's a Victoria over there. I'm going to head down to Talbot Square. I can hear music coming from all over the place. It's pretty lively. The weather hasn't really put people off. That's looking down Abingdon Street. You can see the moon again there. The moon's lighting up the sky towards, towards the south at the moment. Here's a little look down the other side of Abingdon Street. Lots of lights. I'm not going to go this way though. That's the station. I'll tell you what, I'm having to dodge the traffic a bit here at the moment. So that's the station. Oh. I'll tell you what, he's banging over there at Big Cat. There's a shop next door that looks like it's had its windows put through. What's that all about? Well, I can hear banging music, but I don't see too many people in there. It's looking pretty busy down here. The traffic seems to be backing up a little bit. As I head down to Talbot Square, this is going to be quite a quick one, folks. I'm not... I'm not going to trawl all around town in this one because of my sore foot it's not too bad at the moment but I don't want to aggravate it and I'll tell you something else as well this wind I don't want to hang around in this wind either it's 
terrible. Oh, listen to this music. It might be a bit wild, but it's not putting people off. Coming out. Oh, it's banging in there. That's a little black pub. Check it out if you come into Blackpool. It's a really good place. That. I've been in there a couple of times. That's a trilogy, of course. That'll be a bit livelier later. Oh, it's madness down here at Talbot Square. Look at this. Traffic. It's pretty insane. That'll be the illuminations, of course. The illuminations. Be quite busy tonight on a Saturday. Just outside H2O, that's H2O there. Oh. Oh. This is H2O. Check it out, that was the old Royal Bank of Scotland building, that. Yeah. How times have changed. Yates's Wine Lodge. You know, I remember going in Yates's Wine Lodge and having to fight to get to the bar. It was insane back in the olden days. Oh, look at this, look at all that traffic backing right up there now. It's mental. Look at that view of the town. Hey, you get to see the moon as well, look. Oh, I've got to zoom in on that. Let's just get away from that light. All right, here we go. Look at that. Come on, Blackpool Tower and the moon. But it's pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. Some crazy people about as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You can see people struggling in the wind, look. It is proper windy tonight in Blackpool. <laughs> I've just made it to the promenade. <laughs> God, the wind is coming right at us now. It's coming from, I think it's just coming from the, I think it's coming from the north and west. So it's quite cold. Oh my goodness. Everybody's battling. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think that might be my thumbnail, folks. Oh, let's see if we can get over here to the North Pier. Oh, oh my goodness. It's crazy. So I'll just give you a pan round, starting with Talbot Square there, and all that traffic there on the Saturday night in Blackpool. It's a lot different to when I was out last night. It was a lot calmer last night. There was no wind. So if you saw that video I did last night, it was a much better night. Here's a look at the tower, looking nice, all multicoloured there, and you can see the moon as well there. I'm just by the North Pier here. Check out the bright lights of the North Pier here in Blackpool. There you go. Pretty busy in Blackpool, surprising with the weather. And on the promenade, the traffic is absolutely rammed. There's nobody sat outside shenanigans, by the way, over the road. It's, it's looking quite lively in there, but there's nobody sat outside. Let's have a little look at the sea because the tide is in and it's looking pretty rough. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Here we go. 
We had a little look at the sea by the central pier in my video last night. Well, this is the north pier. Don't forget they've got the bloom bar right at the end. Check out the bloom bar. If you're coming to Blackpool, well, look at this. Whoa, I would not want to be out there tonight. Well, that is looking pretty, pretty rough. No wonder with the 55 mile an hour gust in winds. Okay, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. That's a little look through Blackpool on a very wild and windy Saturday night. Good to see loads of people here. It's really busy. The weather has not put people off coming to Blackpool. Uh, but I'm going to head back now because I don't want to be trailing all around town with this bad foot. It's been all right, actually. It's not too bad, but it, that plantar fasciitis, when it's, when it's bad, it, it's pretty painful. But I'm going to head back now. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.